I was uh, going through some videos and I seen this guy named Edward PhD and he was asking a question about Robert Kiyosaki. Uh, he seems to respect Robert Kiyosaki and he was asking about opinions on this uh, possible market crash that Kiyosaki is predicting. And here are my thoughts about the stock market crash and Robert Kiyosaki himself. Uh, if you look at the stock market right here, this is a weekly time frame, you could see that the stock market has come from, you know, basically here and it's now up to here. So it's it's pretty nice climb in a short amount of period of time. So I do think it is, you know, a little risky right now. The price to earnings ratio, in other words, what the stock is the stocks are selling for versus what they're earning. It's pretty high, so um, you know that's a sign that yeah we could be headed for a correction, and I and we will, we will correct at some point, but when I don't know. And in, if I knew that, I'd be a billionaire. And if uh, Kiyosaki knew that, he would be a billionaire, right? So the thing is, is um, here is the thing that I find with Kiyosaki. Okay, this is my opinion. You know, if you look at if you put in uh, Robert Kiyosaki and market crash and you do a search on it, you could see for the year that Kiyosaki's, there's a lot of uh, videos, even nine months ago, that there was gonna be a crash. You know, three weeks ago, three months ago, five months ago. You could see that, you know, it seems like this guy has been predicting for a long time a market crash. Okay, and if you look at where we were uh, nine months ago, okay, nine months ago is like over here, right? Somewhere in this, in this whole area, right? It's like a 20% run up since that time when we were down here around nine months ago to here today. That's like a 20% difference depending on, you know, when you got in the market, right? Because it's kind of bouncing around here. You can see down and then up and then down again, right? So depending on where you put the spot at, the time frame, it's, a, it's probably on average around 20% gain that you would have lost out on if you would have like watched these videos nine months ago and got scared and got out. So the thing I want to say is be careful about these fear mongering videos. You know, the market is high right now. So yeah, I, I am aware that you got to use a lot of caution and maybe you don't want to be in stocks. Maybe you don't. I'm not trying to say that you should be in there. You know, me personally right now, um, I'm in the stock market, but I pulled a lot of it out and a lot of my money now is in um, cash where I'm earning over a little over 5% right now in cash. Okay. And I'm in, um, in vet, you know, cash investments that earn me, you know, a, a 5% and they're insured. So I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about that right now, but I'm still in the market too. Some of my stuff is in there and I'm doing well in the market too. I'm a little bit lucky. I have to admit a little fortunate, right? But, you know, this video right here isn't about advising you what to do. I'm just telling you what I did, and that's where I'm at right now. Um, about 40% in the market, and the rest of it's in cash. And, uh, uh, but the thing I wanted to say is this, Robert Kiyosaki, if you type in Robert Kiyosaki and scam, you could see that there's a lot of people that um, are accusing him of scamming people, okay, or of making scams. And there's this one here, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Bart Kiyosaki Exposed, part two of three. I've watched this video before, and I will tell you, um, you know, they, they had this hidden camera on, on him, and he basically, um, you know, uh, was accused of bilking people for um, his real estate stuff, right? His, his uh, course, I guess, 
on how to buy property. And so I don't want to misquote what happens. You just watch the video yourself. But the thing is, is this, is that in my opinion, you know, Robert Kiyosaki is no different from anybody else. He makes some good calls, which he has in the past. I, I remember, I can recall a call that he made on oil, which was brilliant. But then there's a lot of other things where I just think that he's been wrong on. So it's one of those things where, you know, it's like, yeah, he might, you might get some good advice from him, but buyer beware, just be careful what you're doing. So anyway, that's my take on Robert Kiyosaki. And uh, for all you guys out there, you know, good best wishes in your investment.